peace and love, beautiful ones. Let's get it. I hope you're doing beautiful. I hope that you're feeling good on this fall day. It's kind of nippy, but it's nice where I am, right? I know the weather is different everywhere. Um, excuse the motorcycle in the background, but it is what it is. It's a fall day. It's a beautiful day to hear a motorcycle going by, right? This weather, I'm home and I'm warm. It's like a hibernating day for me. And it's a day really for us all in this moon energy to hibernate and take note. Yeah, take note. So with that being said, beautiful ones, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section one-on-one -on -one bookings, as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you mix for all of those beautiful energies that lie from within inside of you, Libra. Libra. Yeah, my beautiful Libras, as I said, I would be back with the water signs. These will be time stamped. However, if you have the water in your energy, yeah, watch it. And it, most definitely your person, if you're cross-watching for your person, that would be the beautiful energy of Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energies that we're going to go ahead and take a dip into. Tomorrow, I'll do Earth and I'll do Sun, okay? So I'll be doing Earth signs and Sun signs tomorrow and I'll be back a little later tonight with Saturn Day Night Live. I do have a full schedule today. Um, thank you for the bookings. Thank you for really just inquiring and me being able to give you the answers that you need and being able to assist you all in the areas that you seek assistance in. So let's talk about it. Holy Spirit. Thank you. I am protected by my ancestors. Host of angels and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative is protected as well as I channel these messages. Today, we're going to go into each zodiac. I have a lineup of the cards that we'll be using. We will use the sign of the times for your oracle. We'll also use the cosmic oracle, cosmic insights oracle. We'll pull a T card or so, okay? And then we'll go into the tarot. So that's the step of each zodiac sign that we'll be tapping into. Let's go ahead, let's tap into this energy and see what spirit has to say. We're starting off with the energy of Pisces, beautiful Pisces energy. These are general messages. Please remember to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. Yeah. You can flip it and switch it. Mm -hmm. You know the energy. That's yours and the energy says not. Or even you just getting that confirmation to what it is you just need a confirmation for because you already know. Pisces energies, Pisces energies. What's happening with Pisces spirit? Give me accurate information, confirmations on the energy of Pisces. Whatever comes out 
for these cards for Pisces. Wow. Pisces has a lot of energy. That one wants to go. That one. What else for it? Okay, we're going to take those three. Overall energy, Pisces, is traffic calm. Caution. Caution. Traffic calm. Hmm. Libras, you could be dealing with a Pisces who's been being told to slow down or you're being told to slow down. You see some cautionary warning signs that are here. Somebody wants to come back. That's that retrograding energy, okay? Uh-huh. Recycle, recover, hello again. Hello. Somebody wants to come into your energy. And it's like they're returning. Cow wire shell is here. This is abundance. This is abundance. These were traded. Here in the Americas, coming from Africa, they were valued as such as money, right? Because they were imports. They were imported in. Mirror, reflection. You and your person are mirroring one another. Yeah, you're mirroring one another. Hmm. Let's talk about it. I split the deck for my Pisces. I split the deck. It's a relationship, a knot. It's a relationship that's been formed. Matters of the heart. It isn't going anywhere. It's a red shoestring. This is more of a commitment. Key and opportunity is here. Somebody sees an opportunity. Keys open doors. Okay? That's what the keychain says. Keys open doors. Hmm. Wow. Somebody may be wanting to reach out. Lotus Flyer, Enlightenment. Somebody's becoming enlightened in the energy. Okay, Pisces. So what I'm seeing is Libra's dealing with Pisces. There are some cautionary um, protocols that are being taken right now. Okay, it may have been something that slowed up in the energy, but you and your person are mirroring one another. So there's this caution. Someone is being told to be cautious in this energy, okay? Because divine guidance is here. You have the star. We call this the star of David. Uh -huh. Turn it to the side as much of a Merkaba, right? So the flower action is here. This action energy could be a Leo energy, sun, uh huh. And they could also have a Pisces moon. This doesn't have to be a Pisces sun, it could be a Pisces moon, uh huh. And that's emotions, has to do with Pisces or even a Cancer placement. We are working with water, right? Somebody feel, feels like they don't want to give up. Never give up. Mm -hmm. Motivation phrases. This could be somebody you're dealing with that just is like that. Like, they don't give up. <laughs> they don't give up on what it is they want. Uh-huh. Yeah. I heard they don't let go either. They don't let go. It's hard for them to let go. That's what I just heard. Let's go ahead and get into this cosmic oracle for my Pisces. My Libra's dealing with Pisces. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Libra's dealing with Pisces energies. Cosmic oracle, cosmic tarot. Thank you, sir. Cards for Pisces. Libra's dealing with Pisces. Placements. at your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus. I also consider, wow, you got two flippers. I also consider the north, south node and your Chiron, okay? And your Chiron energy. Now, you have a link that is available. We're taking these, okay? And we'll read the fourth energy as the overall energy. So you'll recognize um, in the link for your free natal chart, when you go in, you can check the Chiron, also known as the MC, to find out 
where healing is happening for your person. Uh-huh. As well as your own and where it needs to happen. We can tell by the cards who's actually doing the work in the energy. But simultaneously, if you two are mirroring one another, I believe you're manifesting because a commitment is this, is this engagement that's here. And this is also the energy of move on. So look, what I'm getting is someone is manifesting. Tell the universe exactly what you want. All right? So... This is a Pisces energy that is telling the universe what they want energetically, even if they aren't speaking it to you, right, Libra? Commitment is here. And if you have a Pisces placement yourself, you're doing the same thing within the energy of the dealings with the Libra, all right? You know this energy is intertwinable, but a commitment takes two. Things are getting serious. So how someone feels about you, I feel like their feelings are escalating. Move on is here. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time. So someone in this energy between you, your person, the situation, place, or thing, it's a waste of time where they're at, where they're experiencing an issue moving past or moving from. Overall energy is sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean they're trying to find out if they're, you know, straight or gay or whatever, bisexual, or whatever, okay? This doesn't just mean that. Like, how do they feel about sexuality in general? In general. Yeah, so I want to look at that on a broader spectrum of just, oh, you know, it's showing you the different aspects of someone fluidly understanding themselves. Yeah, it has the infinity sign. It's all type of sim symbolism in here, right? As well as the masculine and the feminine energy. Represented also in the cosmos, right? Mm. Honeymoon. Honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding. Someone could be attending a wedding in this energy, okay? A winter wedding. Hmm. Sounds cozy. Let's talk about it, beautiful ones. Beautiful Pisces. Libras dealing with Pisces energy. Let's get some tea. Get a few of the tea cards out here and see what spirit wants to say for Pisces. Cards for Pisces. What's happening in Pisces energy? What's happening in Pisces energy? Pisces. Okay. Pisces placements dealing with Libra. Sounds like somebody has a stalker. You got creativity out here with a picture of George Floyd. What was that? That was his name, right? Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates and feeds off of you, okay? This is somebody thinking you're you're their god. Uh-huh. No facts. Never has facts and makes shit up. They don't study. This person likes to take the quick road. This is somebody who'll make a fake page acting as if they're skilled in anything that they don't even know the slightest about, okay? This is someone who operates off of no facts. They just steal each other's, um, or they steal others' creativity, ideas, duplicate. They're, they're fake. It's a fraud. It's a phony. It's a doppelganger. It's giving doppelganger. Girl fight is here. Arguments. Physical fight at war competing. Someone is competing. 
So they're trying to step their game up and be like you. Flip and switch these energies. That's what I'm getting. If you're a girl, okay? Because it's a girl fighting. Very specific, okay? Let's get another one out here for you, Pisces. Dealing with Libras. Libras dealing with Pisces. So what's going on in this energy? Okay. This somebody going to be you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Ah, uh, and this one, and we're going to close out. Somebody's dealing with some legal issues. Court, judges, immigrations, lawyers, etc. okay? Sounds like karma to me. Ego, ego, hurt ego, getting in the way of relationship, all right? So someone's ego is, you know, really not helping them at all. A dirty offer. They want to get their claws into something. Aren't these the creepiest hands you've ever seen in a car? I mean, they're like so spooky. They want to get their claws. They want to dig their claws into something. But it's a dirty offer. This is ugh, so gross. The energy behind it. Let's see what's behind. Look, behind ego is an offer. It's, uh, it's an offer on the table. But this offer is another feel. There's a dirty offer that comes out. And then there's an offer. So this is a good offer. This looks like a conversation that'll take place, you know. And someone could be traveling to do this. Someone could be traveling to do this. And somebody could literally be moving from living with someone that has a bad reputation. This is when, you know, you've been dating the county whore and you had no idea. Because, I mean, you just didn't know. Or maybe you knew when you were trying to save them, okay? You know, you know the situation, right? Somebody's haunted by memories, flashbacks, trauma, and they're having side effects right now because you walked away uninterested, okay? Somebody's walking away, and it's a uh, feminine energy, and it looks like a masculine who is upset. Now, I'm flipping switch it. Uninterested. Scarcity tactics. Somebody could have tried to, you know, use something on you that has been used on them is what I'm getting, Okay. You know, hurt people, hurt people type of energy is what I'm picking up on. Because somebody's in a girl fight. And I have a feeling that someone has no idea why they're fighting. <laughs> you know? Okay, let's get into it. My beautiful Pisces and Libras. Let's talk. Hope you're having the most beautiful fall energy. Happy Full moon in Taurus. This is the energy that we're picking up on. These are timeless messages. However, when this message meets and greets your eyes and ears, please know that it is for you. Mm -hmm. Remember to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. We're reading energy. We're reading energy. If you'd like to book your personal energy reading, yeah, experience. Experience a read from Empress 444. Yeah. I like to think that, or think that all of my reads are so, you know, catered, catered to one's energy. No one that I've given a read to, if you ever compare them together, would tell you I've done the same exact thing. Yeah, I like that experience with you all, beautiful ones. The special is on for the weekend, if I didn't mention, because I know I didn't put it on the board. I will put it on the board. I Actually, I think I did. It's in the community room. It is. It's in the community room. So check it out. Flash weekend, this weekend only, 24-hour turnaround for a personal read. Spirit, tell the story. Pisces dealing with, wow, that one didn't want to go in. Libra, Libra's dealing with Pisces. All right. not giving up in this energy this is that chiron energy i was talking about that wounded 
hero energy where it is your person has been healing they're healing someone is doing some work in this energy okay so this means that you're doing it too you're doing it too because what i'm seeing is i'm seeing something very beautiful be formed here in the energy okay we got your energy here first card out ace of swords there's a breakthrough this is the truth somebody's becoming very clear and clarity is here when it comes to where they've been making investments at with the seven of pentacles energy somebody has taurus in their energy somebody could have been investing in, in the taurus energy or this is just the energy of you know also you know waiting a lot of time has went by making these investments and monitoring monitoring the, these seeds that have been planted but there's been a breakthrough when it comes to that somebody is in this energy of the phoenix rising they're in this energy of judgment, you know, even judgment of self in order to go through and rise more powerful in the energy. Somebody's definitely, you know, they're burning the skeletons in their closet. They're burning them. They don't have a use for them anymore. Mm-hmm. Page of Wands is here. This is a new fresh beginning for someone. This is, you know, when things, you know, you have this light bulb that goes off in your head and it tells you, look, I can create something new, something wild, something fresh, right? Yeah. And there's this energy of a missed opportunity that someone sits in this energy. It's like, this is a part of that clarity, you know, a missed opportunity that has been missed in this energy. And it's between a divine union, a divine partnership is what I'm seeing, okay? I'm seeing something very divine in the energy that someone feels a lot of um, energetic drawnness uh, towards it. Somebody's being drawn into the sun. It's somewhere warm. You know, someone could have a Leo placement, most definitely, most likely a rising. But this energy is someone feeling as if it's a sense of warmth that exists within this here union and it's an emperor it's an emperor i'm literally seeing this energy now flip and switch these energies but this is aries energy right you don't have to have Aries in your chart but this is the fiery passionate energy that someone is stepping into when it comes to understanding really the balance of both the emperor is someone who was well balanced too this is why they complement and pair beautifully with the empress because she can rock both sides of the boat as well all right she has the wisdom she has the strength the creativity and the fire that it takes to brew it all together and make it do what it do right so this here emperor energy has really gone through uh phoenix rising energy uh-huh and they have new fresh thoughts, but they are dwelling on a missed opportunity with a divine union. And they're very sure about the warmth that it creates, all right? Because they don't want to give up. Nah, wow. There's a queen of pentacles here, and there is an empress that's here. And somebody got stressed out about who to choose. Wow, can you imagine even comparing the two? Can you imagine the knowledge that you would have to lack? in order to let this be a stressful situation, right? This is an unhealed energy. Yeah, this this is someone. It's a collaboration, okay? That is destined. So someone is more so upset is be, only because they're realizing they did not follow their destiny. They didn't follow their destiny. And somebody's realizing that. Give me the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Give me the breakthrough for my Pisces dealing with Libra energies. Pisces placements. Thank you. Two of Pentacles is here. Yeah, somebody was in balance. Uh, somebody's starting to see, like, you know, how to find their balance. But there definitely was some type of Three of Cups energy. They could have been in balance with exactly how they were moving out here in the streets with reckless energies, five of wands. It's uh, energies that they, these energies keep this person in balance. They come with drama and chaos. Uh-huh. They're attached to friction. And your person wants to move ahead. They're making plans to get away from this. They can't find any peace or solitude in this energy. 
I split the deck. Yeah, they're ready to sacrifice some things because they want to live their life differently. Someone is going on a spiritual uh, journey and an awakening at the same time. They've become more enlightened in the energy, okay? This is somebody that's no longer ready to risk it off for everybody else. They're ready to risk it off for themselves, okay? This is somebody who's balanced out in the energy. They're an emperor energy. Give me the Seven of Pentacles. Tell us about this energy. Seven of Pentacles. This is about what they've been investing in, okay? And the seeds that they planted. Yeah, tell us more in this energy. Libra and Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. An Empress. Wow, they want to invest in the Empress. They want to build a dynasty. They want to build an empire. Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, uh-huh. This is somebody who wants to leave a legacy behind. They do. Give me the judgment. Thank you. Empress, you out here with your emperor. You out here with your emperor. Wow. Beautiful. I just heard get on my level. I <laughs> get on my level. Give me the judgment, Spirit. Give me the judgment. Thank you. And this energy, this is your energy, judgment. More Libra energy, okay? Tell us about it, Spirit. Libra's dealing with, oh, a lot of grief, loss, and regret. Somebody's come up out of this awakening, this transformation, because that's what it is. And they're looking at the cups that they spilled over, but these two cups are still sitting behind them. And they're all in their head about it. They keep thinking about it. This is something that they constantly think about. This card is poking out. Yeah, they see you. Wow. There's an Ace of Pentacles here. This is a new beginning and abundance that's here. There's a Queen of Pentacles that is following it every time. It never fails in the collaborative. You have a Taurus energy, a Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh-huh. Now, doing magic with a high priestess, manifesting with a high priestess. This energy never changes. Uh huh. Having someone indecisive. This is right in the middle of the deck when I split it, okay? So they're in their head about an empress. We're distinguishing two different energies, right? And we are in Taurus energy. So let's go ahead and clarify this Empress energy. So I want to be very clear. Libra's energy ver versus Taurus energy, okay? Because someone is definitely dealing with an earth sign being this queen of pentacles energy. But I'm feeling two different feminine energies with this emperor. But there is only one empress. Give us the energy of an empress energy. Thank you. Wow. A knight of cups. This is a new offer. This is a new offer. So if the person who is the queen of pentacles, uh-huh, that's someone that they were dealing with. They could be possibly a baby mama or even a mother figure, right? It's somebody in their world already. You're new. This is a new emotion, a cup being taken somewhere, some emotions being taken somewhere, and someone's holding on to this energy for pentacles, all right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Spirit says, look, let's be real clear who this is. We're talking about Libra, right? Libra energy. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, because with us having this full moon in Taurus right now, and Taurus being Venus as well as Libra being Venus, I want us to be real clear about that energy because we are dealing with the energy of a queen of pentacles who is also earth energy but we're talking about air right now uh-huh and there's some justice and some karma going around in it when it comes to somebody's wish fulfillment nine of cups energy a lot of emotions okay so somebody there's a knight of cups that is looking and bringing emotions to an empress energy a libra right let's talk about it give me the page of wands page of wands page of wands for my beautiful ones Page of Wands. Somebody wants to create something new, something fresh, something dynamic is what I just heard in the energy. There we go. Wow. How many are these? <laughs> so quite a bit. <sighs> I'm not going to take them all, but we're going to read the energy. Yeah. Somebody's a nine of pentacles energy and somebody wants to go towards this self-sufficient energy. They've walked away. Look, they walked away eight of cups from the things that had them in their head, stuck in their head. 
which they can't even explain it, right? But it's a part of the transformation. They were given to the wrong energies, okay? They were. This is somebody that now wants to give reciprocity, Six of Pentacles energy. And this is also Taurus energy. So lots of Taurus energy in here, okay? Somebody walked away from giving to a situation a possible Taurus energy as well, right? And this is someone moving Cancer energy, water, uh-huh, towards... A Virgo energy. You can have Virgo on your chart. You can even be a cusper as a Libra. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And you're self-sufficient. Somebody's going towards that energy. They see creation with this energy. They see a new thing happening in the energy. Give me the page of wands. Give me the page of wands. Thank you for my beautiful ones. Yeah, king of swords. Somebody has to be in this energy of, you know, really operating in the upright energy. They understand... They're going to have to be cold. It's like somebody recreating themselves. Not cold in a sense to where, you know, they're just, uh, you know, Scrooge McDuck or anything like that. But this is someone who realized they have to, you know, operate in the same way that they want to be treated in. Okay. This is someone integral and they're closing out a cycle. They're closing out a cycle. They're no longer giving to a situation. They're closing out a cycle. They're creating something new in the energy. Yeah. But they still feel left out in the cold. Behind this here missed opportunity. And behind that is the 10. Is They're in hermit mode. They're in hermit mode. They're healing. They're getting some introspection from this painful ending that they just got out of. 10 of swords. Somebody is, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of painful endings. 10 swords. That's a lot of pain. Give me the four of cups, the four of cups spirit for Libra's dealing with Pisces. Yeah, new love is in the energy. Page of cups, page of cups, they're moving forward. They're moving forward to new love. We saw in your oracle, your cosmic oracle, it says move on. Someone is unavailable, but somebody in the energy that needs to move on. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah, look, that tells a bunch of lies. And this is that oracle that came out in the tea. You know, somebody just making up stuff, stealing people's stuff, forgery, the whole nine. This is gossip. This is all of that, okay? This is stealing people's creativity. This is, yeah, a page of sports in reverse and a super stalker. That's that energy that came out. Super stalking, somebody's choice when it comes to love, okay? Yeah, the lovers is out here. And they close the cycle on this energy, leaving them out in the cold. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's the King of Swords energy. Straight up, okay? New love, Page of Cups. This is a new feeling. And this is this Two of Cups energy, this divine energy, this divine love. Give me the Two of Cups. Two of Cups for Libra's dealing with Pisces energy. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, yeah. They want to go after this passionately, assertively, Knight of Swords as well. This is a lot of fast, passionate energy that's in the energy. Six of Wands is here. They want to win. You could be seen in the public eye as well, one of you or the both of you, okay? To be popular and supported by others, yeah. I'm, I'm like, you know, getting your accolades, true support, people who really support you, you know, not fake support, okay? This is what I'm getting. This is what I got. This is somebody who's definitely seeing you in that light or you can see them in that light. Look, this is a Knight of Cups. Excuse me, it's a King of Cups energy. Yeah, this is Pisces. This is your energy. Uh-huh. Flip and switch it. They have a solid offer in this energy. They do. They've been manifesting to expand, expansion. They've been waiting on their ships to come in. They could be abroad from you. Someone could be moving abroad. Someone could be in this energy of traveling across a body of water give me the sun give me the sun if something is definitely you know this is an awakening you got the phoenix out here rising with judgment libra your energy and you also have your energy of the ace of swords out here clarity of breakthrough and then you got the sun leo energy man this is a powerful transformation that's happening for my pisces dealing with libra give us the sun spirit Give us a sign, and we're going to get ready to close out, beautiful ones. If this message is resonating with you, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to be a part of this beautiful metaphysical tribe.
We love to have you here. Wow. The page of swords in reverse. I just heard diabolical. Look, somebody is happy. Somebody is happy. And you have the page of swords that is spitefully lying, spying, and gossiping when it comes to somebody's wish fulfillment. A nine of cups energy. Somebody who's a page of swords in reverse, they throw tantrums. They give nothing but bad news. This is the person that comes around. They don't never have nothing good to talk about. They always have bad news, bad news. This is a fear monger type of energy. They're very defensive and they do nothing but gossip and they stalk, big stalking energy. They're stalking somebody's wish fulfillment, which is also Pisces energy, okay? So you can have Pisces in your chart as well. But the two of wands is here. And they're worried about somebody moving forward towards their wish fulfillment. They are. Look, because the tower happened, everything ended. Everything had to go with this energy. And they're heartbroken about it. They are. It's a king of wands energy. Somebody who made good love, okay? Somebody who made good love, straight up. And they're powerful. Now, that won't be for everybody. But look, it's going to be for somebody. If you are masculine, you know if you make good love, and I'm talking about with the wand, okay? Not the the mouth, the tongue, or none of that, okay? I'm talking about good love, uh-huh. Cause you give good love to me, baby. So good, take this heart of mine into your hands. <laughs> That's when you really to give. I mean, you're literally ready to just get, take this heart of mine into your hands. You ain't even got to put it up nowhere. Just hold it in your hand, okay? Let's talk about it. <laughs> give me the Emperor energy. I wasn't prepared to hit them notes. Come on now. Somebody give good love. I'm just saying I felt that right there. Somebody sad about that love. That love gone for good is what I just heard. Give me the Emperor. <laughs> give me the Emperor. Give me the ember, because somebody too bossed up right now. They ain't got no time for it. They ain't got no time for it. Beautiful ones. Uh, it looks like a divine union to me is coming together. I, I'm just going to say what it is, okay? Look, but right now what's going on is they're holding on to your energy. And when I say they holding on to your energy, I really mean that, because it came out with the justice. It came out with your card, okay? There's an emperor that is holding on to your energy. They are not letting go. Uh-huh. They want to find some balance in this energy. And it may even be their karma that they stuck with your energy on them like that. Uh-huh. You something that you can't get rid of. Uh-huh. When it comes to that energetically, you know. Um, I mean, it's my yacht. It's literally my yacht. You taught somebody love. You gave them a piece of your Venus, okay? Maybe even a piece of your mind. But the heart and the feather is on the scale, okay? Some of you can have ancient connection to commit Egypt. Mm -hmm. Some of you are mystics and it comes from your royal bloodline. Five of pentacles is here. Someone feels left out in the cold and they do want to win in this energy. And I can't help but to see the empress right here. What is this? This the empress? No, this is the hanged one. Somebody sees things from a new perspective in this energy and they want to win. Wow, because they realize that you're part of their destiny. Yeah, I split the deck. It's a king of pentacles energy. This is a businessman, a business owner who has put some burdens down. They have. Give me the justice. And we're going to close out. Beautiful ones. Libras dealing with Pisces energies. Libras dealing with Pisces energies. Thank you, spirit. What do they need to know? All right, there we go. Oh, wow. This is what you need to know. <sighs> wow, this read is Wow. Four of Wands, 11, 11. That's what you need to know. It's a stable beginning. Somebody wants to start with you, have with you. They see it. They see the vision. It's there. It's a two of Pentacles energy. This is a soulmate. This is destined, okay? This is also a reunification card. And they're trapped in their head about it. Eight of Swords, uh-huh. Yeah, they're trapped in their head about this love, this real love, this Ace of Cups love. They know that it was a gift, uh-huh. This is someone, the Three of Cups here, fighting. There are a bunch of broads, uh, possibly feminine energies. Could be a masculine 
feminine is what I'm hearing as well. That's going to war are fighting right now. A lot of conflict and energy. And you and your person are protected in this energy with the higher from being here. If this is the Ten of Cups that you want, this energy is still here. Okay? Send your reading. Beautiful Pisces dealing with Libras. This is your read. This is your read. I love you all. Let's go ahead and go into the energy of my beautiful, beautiful Cancers, okay? My beautiful Cancerians. My beautiful Cancerians. Wow. We swimming. We are swimming, beautiful. Cancers, come on in, come on in. Welcome, 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 my beautiful Cancers. Welcome. Welcome on in. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this energy. Beautiful Cancers. We are going into the sign of the times. And we're going to get some energy to see what the Spirit has to say to you. What signs of the times are you being told? Cancers dealing with the Libra's energy. I split the deck to the sun and love. Wow. Cancer. You could have a Leo placement. And this Venus energy is here. Uh-huh. We are moon and Taurus. And this is Libra energy as well. Love. Love frequency. Venus energy. Huh. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer, baby. It's almost time to sing your song. <laughs> it's almost time to sing your song. Cancer, baby. Hurry down the chimney tonight. It's almost that time. I like it. Let's talk about it. Mm. Wow. That's crazy. Focus, bullseye. We're going to pull four of these out. Anchor, stability. That's that four of wands energy. That's that 1111. I saw this one in the shuffle. Possibilities, globe. Somebody could be relocated and they could be traveling. And just really thinking about the overall possibilities of their life. Uh huh. Someone has to stay focused in this energy. Someone's been really focused. You got the bullseye to come out. The anchor and stability. Somebody feels like they can, you know, feel anchored or like they can be held down is what I'm getting, okay? This is a red door. A red door is known, you know, as a safe place, as a safe place, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, anytime you see somewhere with the red door, it's welcoming, it's a safe place, um, and it creates stability, okay, for that and those of others, all right? Hmm, or just even for self, it's, it's looked at as a sanctuary, okay? Pay attention to the places that have red doors. It is a, really, it's, it's a symbolism. It's symbolism. Bull's eye focus is here. Anchor, stability. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone wants to feel safe and stable. This is also a reunification card. And... It's the energy of being able to create stability. Bullseye is here. Someone's very focused, very, very focused in this energy, okay? There's a focus that's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where that bullseye is, that red mark. Possibilities, globe. Someone is looking at different places. They're seeing their life on a grander scale. And someone wants to have fun in the energy, flamingo. And it's surrounded by green. This is the heart chakra. So someone is finding new ways or tapping into really this meditative state of having fun. Uh huh. This is a part of healing in the energy. Emotions, healing emotions, moon. Somebody can have Pisces, Cancer energy. This is your energy. Cancers, Libra's dealing with Cancers. Okay, so. Yeah, somebody's really focused right now. They're looking at things on a grander scale. I'm going to split the deck. Wow. Yeah, divine guidance. They're getting divine guidance from the most high. They are. When it comes to love, they are following the divine. Love is here. But look what card is trying to come out. Interruption. 
lightning, disruption, disruption. It's like turbulence on a plane or something, right? Be careful flying. So what I'm getting is, I just saw a road trip for some of you. Um, yeah, someone may be taking a road trip soon. I saw that immediately when I said, be careful flying. There was some type of disruption, okay, in the energy. When it came to your emotions, you could have felt that this was a yin-yang energy, a balance. This is Libra's energy, a balance, okay? Like, this was some type of luck. 11 is here. 10 cents plus 1 cents, that's 11 cents. That is a reset. It's something in the energy, resetting in the energy, and it is good luck. It's good luck. You, you could have felt like when you met someone, it was like a reset on your thoughts, how it is you perceive, just, you know, people in general, okay? That's what I'm getting. That's what I got. Beautiful ones. Let's go ahead. Let's dip. Let's see what else is going on in the energy for my cancers. Libras dealing with cancer energies. Beautiful Libras dealing with the beautiful Cancerian babes. My cancer babies. Hurry down that chimney tonight. Dagnamit. Let's talk about it. We're going to go ahead and um get some cosmic insights now for you, Cancer. Cosmic insights for the Cancerian babes dealing with Libra. Let's get some messages out here. Libra's dealing with Cancers. Libra's dealing with Cancers. Cancer energies. Libra's dealing with Cancers. And... What needs to be known? What needs to be known? Thank you. All right. Thank you. What else? We'll see what comes out. Spirit says D2. And wow, that one. That one was wild. Let's see what that is. Okay. Woo. Wow. Somebody needs to open their heart. And they find it scared too. Y'all saw the way that jumped up out of here. Open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Open your heart, beautiful ones. Do not close your heart off, all right? You cannot do that. You have to, wow. Mercury retrograde, we're right on time. We're in the post-shadow, excuse me, the pre-shadows right now. I've been talking about this. Some type of communication issues, all right? Whether it's verbal or electronic, this is electronic issues, communication issues, reviewing everything. Somebody is fine tooth calming something, okay, in the energy, okay? About a gold digger. Somebody could have even married a gold digger is what I'm looking. Or just combine, you know, their lives and even income, okay? It looks like the masculine could be the one that has the money, the bag, uh-huh. They want your money being used. Somebody is being used. Somebody is being used in this dynamic, okay? Uh-huh. Somebody who is in a relationship of some sort is being used by a gold digger. Uh-huh. Yes. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Cancer, Pisces. Excuse me, Cancer. Somebody could have Pisces in a chart too. But Cancer and Libra, luck is on your side in this energy. Health. Health issues could arise. Take care of yourself in this energy. Take care of yourself. Honeymoon is here. Wow, this came out for Pisces. Honeymoon phase. Attending someone's wedding. Now, this could be either or. Either you're attending someone's wedding, you could be flying somewhere for love, or you'll be in this honeymoon phase of really experiencing love together, okay? So this is like a new love, a new energy, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Someone might have to fly to be with their person. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I split the deck. They'll be back. Oh, yeah, just like Mercury Retrograde. They'll be back. This is the return of an energy. Expect to hear from them soon. Uh-huh. So Libra, expect to hear from your person. Uh-huh, Pisces energy is what I'm getting. Yeah, it just came through like that. Either or, you know, flip and switch the energies. But yeah, okay. Let's talk about it some more. Let's go ahead and get some tea for my Cancers. Cancers. And Libra. Cancers and Libra. I don't know if I've caught you guys Pisces once or twice, but for
forgive me. I know where I'm at in the energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're dealing with those cancerian, those crabs, those cancer babies. Cancer baby. Uh-huh. Hurry down the chimney. Tonight. <laughs> ah, and I just saw the moon. Oh, man, I just saw the moon, and I thought about that old school commercial, McDonald's commercial, when it flashed in my head. The moon, it's mad tonight. And Cancer, that's, that's you. You're the moon. You're the moon. Wow, you're the mom. You're the mother. You're the nurturer in this energy. Or your person is, right? Libra. Wow, somebody's a broke ass, okay? Somebody's broke. Somebody don't got it. We got a flipper in here. We'll see what it is. I don't know when it flips. If it was from the last reading. Somebody's in their head. They're overthinking and they're stressing, overanalyzing, okay? Somebody has anxiety is what I'm getting, okay? What else here? Cancer and Libra. What's going on in the energy for Cancer and Libra? All right, we're going to take those. Overthinking, stress, overanalyzing. Someone is a broke ass. They're looking in their wallet and they're trying to see how they can get something in it, okay? Uh-huh. This is someone who's haunted by your memories. Flashbacks, trauma, side effects. They have a hurt ego. Getting in the way of relationship. This is someone that has an ego. It's getting in the way of your relationship, okay? Our relate, Yeah, relationship. Someone is moving. Someone is moving. Uh-huh. And giving money. Giving money. Somebody is giving money. Somebody's having to fork out some money. Someone could be being cyber bullied. You are being bullied online or you, you've suffered from it. And dodging bullets. Somebody is dodging bullets. Blocking negativity. Escaping crazy people. And being protected from the haters. Threatening. Somebody wants to act intimidating. This is a pistol we see. Intimidating, threatening, and bothered. Somebody's really bothered in the energy. Let's split it. Ignoring. It could be someone ignoring this energy who's a forcer, who want to force things to get their way. This is like a bully. Yeah, this is a bully. And they cyber bully too. This is somebody super, super sick. Okay. Uh-huh. Your person could be in their head over analyzing things. Flip this with these energies. Hmm. Okay. That's the T for cancer dealing with my beautiful Libra babes. Let's see what's going on in the Tarot with you all, beautiful cancers. Hmm. Somebody uh, wants to win. They're manifesting. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Six of Wands to the Magician. Someone could have Leo in their chart. As well as Air. And Virgo. Cancer. Dealing with Libra. Thank you. All right. Wow. Wow. Three of Pentacles come out with the Four of Wands. It's a collaboration for sure. That's that stability. That's that red door. All right. Somebody's walking away. They're going towards happier days. Somebody feels defeated. Five of swords. They want someone to put the swords down. People have to put the swords down. You got the eight of pentacles here with the five of swords. Somebody could be a Pisces energy as well as an Aquarius energy. We have Capricorn. Someone could have a Capricorn placement out here with the three of pentacles as well as Aries is out here. We got the Empress out here, okay? Yeah. 
We're just dealing with this here energy of an empress. Libra, you're here. Got the six of cups. This is someone coming together with somebody from their past, okay? This is a reconciliation as well as someone coming together in a union. Both of these are reconciliation cards and from the past energy, uh-huh. This is Scorpio energy as well as Aries energy. So it's passion, a solid passion, okay? It's something to stand on is what I'm getting. It's stable. And someone is manifesting this energy. They walked away from the situation in order to manifest what it is they were going towards, okay? Somebody's still waiting on ships to come in. I just heard word to come in, okay? Off top is the Ten of, hmm, ten of Cups, all right? Somebody knows where it's at to be emotionally fulfilled is what I'm getting. Overall energy, more Leo energy. Strength is here, mm-hmm. Strength is here. Aries, more fire, more passion. Two of Wands, somebody's making plans in this energy. I split the deck when it comes to new love, a page of cups. This is the energy of water. Ooh, and it's a divine union. It's a divine union. I'm not surprised. We got twin flame energy out here already. Give me the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. This is a collaboration. I feel like somebody is studying the empress. Somebody is studying you, Libra. Uh-huh. Give me the three of pentacles. Like you a project or something. They trying to see how that do what it do. Wow, they want a new beginning. <laughs> how that do what it do? How do I take this leap of faith over here and go towards this energy of an empress is what I'm getting. Look, it move forward because somebody's definitely being guided to do so in the energy. Give me the four of wands. Four of wands. This is 11-11. In the energy. It's a stable beginning. It's that red door energy. The one you want to walk through is what I heard. Look, big Leo energy, strength is here again, okay? Yeah, somebody wants to strong. This is a strong stability, a strong foundation is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. That someone is really, you know, tapped into creating while wow, somebody walked away from lies, deception, and deceit, okay? This is Aquarius energy. Somebody could have Aquarius in their chart. Somebody is healing from this energy, and it could be this here King of Pentacles energy who is seen or known in the public eye. It could be kind of popular. Somebody could have a Capricorn placement, a Virgo, or even a Taurus energy. I split the deck. They're blocking people. Yeah, they're protecting their energy these days. Yeah, ooh, they're a warrior. Nine of Wands energy. This is somebody off in their Chiron. Uh-huh, they're a wounded hero, and they're tired of fighting. Yeah, they tired of all this deceit. Somebody has to put these swords down. I feel like people have to walk away. <clears throat> Somebody's defeated. More Aquarius energy. Give me the five of swords. Mm -hmm. Cancer's dealing with Libras. Libras dealing with Cancers. What's going on in the energy? Thank you, Spirit. All right, there we go. Wow, that flipped in reverse. Both of them. Somebody feels stuck. Somebody's practicing divination. Page of Pentacles in the reverse with the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? Uh, these people had to put their swords down when they came into that. Somebody wanted somebody stuck. Six of Swords, that means I'm stagnant. I'm not going anywhere. My ancestors are missing all the signs. I'm just stuck. I'm, Yeah, I'm stagnated, okay? And a Page of Pentacles, this is somebody who is tapped into earth energy or earth magic. Like my book says... Earth magic, uh-huh. Someone is energies, uh, tapping in with the energies of some earth magic in the reverse. This is a page of pinnacles. Someone in reverse is causing a standstill. Someone who is very irresponsible. They lack a solid plan for their future. I mean, this is like doom and gloom. They don't have a path. They don't have a plan. This is someone that doesn't see really you know, the long term anyway, because they live in every day. I heard living for the ghetto. Okay, that's what I heard. Okay, overall energy. There's this energy that's healing. Uh-huh. Yeah, and somebody has a new opportunity when it comes to prosperity and abundance. It's a king of wands energy. It's somebody very passionate, and they can have all this Leo in the energy that I'm feeling and seeing. Look, Sagittarius energy as well. Eight of wands, okay? This is just someone passionate. Even wanting to reach out and have a message of some sort. Give me the Empress. I'm being told to split the deck. Magician is here. They're manifesting because they're heartbroken. Uh-huh. 
at this missed opportunity. Wow, four of cups. Yeah, that's what's going on. They're going through an awakening, but this doesn't happen until later because I see it. It's in the reverse. In the reverse, we got a queen of cups. Somebody sad and lonely in this energy. Whoa. Yeah, mentally um, bothered. Okay, I'm not going to diagnose anybody, but we're going to just say they're they're disturbed they're disturbed okay give me the empress cancer is dealing with libra all right wow comes out there's a fire sign energy wants to talk to you somebody can have leo sagittarius aries in their energy are just super passionate and powerful ready to take charge ready to take charge eight of wands this is, a, this is the message of love somebody wants to tell you how they really feel Somebody want to make you feel what they feel, okay? Somebody want to let you know their feelings are for real, and they don't want to give up in this energy. They see things from a new perspective. Hang one is here, okay? They see you as a two of cups, a divine union. Woo! I mean, it's like you opened up their eyes. You must be a light worker. You're some type of healing energy, okay? Because they're obsessed. They can't get enough of this funky stuff. It's good. It brings balance in their life is when I'm getting a temperance angel is here, okay? This is moderation, balance, uh-huh. They're in hermit mode watching you because they can't sleep at night. Nine of four. Is this somebody stressed out going through anxiety in this energy? Give me the six of cups. Six of cups in this energy. Happy birthday to my scorpions, my Scorpio babies, the next water sign up. If you have that placement in your chart, be sure to stick around for this energy. My beautiful Cancers, my beautiful Libras. Yeah, the devil had to come right on out with Hermit and the balance. Whoa. Look, when it comes to somebody from a past life or past love or in the past, yeah, Scorpio energy. I was staring at this energy talking about Scorpio, Six of Cups, and bam, it just comes out. Spirit, so immaculate, right? Devil is here. Somebody's obsessional, uh, upset. They're in the obsession, okay? When it comes, ooh, excuse me. When it comes to connecting with you and your energy is what I'm getting. Temperance, they want balance in this energy. They want balance, they do. They've been in hermit mode, doing a lot of thinking, healing, introspection is what I'm getting, uh-huh. But they, they could have Capricorn in their chart, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, and these are secrets, Cancer. This is your energy. Pisces, Cancer, Moon, ruled by Cancer. So this is Cancer's energy, okay? Ooh, heavy on the Cancer energy. Chariot, this is somebody who wants to come, you know, they're in motion. They're finding their balance. They're finding their balance. Look, they're manifesting this opportunity. Broken heart, broken heart. Someone is dealing with a broken heart, and it's a missed opportunity. Someone's dealing with all of that. They want to make something happen. They want to change something. They want to go towards something, someone, somebody, okay? Libra, they want to go towards you. You're the empress. They can have a Leo placement as well with the king of wands here. Give me the three of wands. Three of wands. Give me the three of wands. Three of wands. For my cancer babies and Libra. Yeah. They want this ten of pentacles. Yeah. This is somebody manifesting expansion in their energy the world they close in on a cycle i can't help but to see the lovers and look at the next card out a high priestess yeah yeah somebody wants to bring an offer to a high priestess a high priestess that's a queen of pentacles stuck in their head phoenix rising somebody basically grew up on somebody that wasn't grown up yeah they want something stable. They want something sturdy. They want something safe. They want something secure. They want this Ten of Cups energy. They want overall emotional fulfillment, which is Pisces energy. Uh-huh. Give me the Ten of Pentacles for Cancers dealing with Libras. All right. There we go. Heartbroken. They heartbroken when it comes to this here. Being emotionally fulfilled. They're not that right now. They're not that. So they sit up and they think about it on the regular uh-huh they manifest it this is what they're doing they're manifesting even under this moon they're thinking about these lovers this choice their choices in love they're thinking about everything yeah they're holding on to this energy i spit the deck look there's a queen of cups somebody who's mentally imbalanced all right that they were dealing with uh-huh they're stressed out are somebody showing no love wow 
Justice is here. This is you. This could be the two different energies that they're dealing with. They have to put some burdens down. That's what took place. Give me this three of swords here, spirit. We're going to get ready to close out for my cancers dealing with Libras. If this resonates with you, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe. Become a part of this metaphysical tribe. We love to have you here. What I say is the truth. There's been a breakthrough in energy. You got clarity here. This card comes out. Somebody wants a nine of pentacles energy. Yeah. You love this person too is what I'm getting. That's what I just heard. Okay. Take what's yours. Leave what isn't. But the nine of pentacles is here. And this is somebody self-sufficient. Uh-huh. Yeah. Could even have Virgo on your chart. Could be a cusper as well. Somebody just keeps thinking about you. They do. Look. Can't make it up. Lovers. Okay. This is who they choose over and over again. And they're heartbroken and stabbed in the back. They, I mean, they've had a long, painful ending. And they've been stuck in this energy of a five of cups. Feeling a lot of loss, regret, and grief in this season. Scorpio energy. Okay. They're an emperor. This is the divine masculine who is a... King of Cups. Ooh, they really tapped into their emotions. They said they love you. That's what this song just said. Beautiful Cancers dealing with Libra. This is your reading. Somebody's watching somebody and they're watching hard. They're not missing a beat. They want to create something new in this energy. Page of Wands to the Page of Swords. Cancer, if this resonates with you, Libra, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, become a part of this metaphysical tribe. We'd love to have you here, my beautiful, beautiful cancer babies. Join the tribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get your energy here and yeah, just tap in on this Venetian power. We are powered by Venus. Yes, we are. So you can come get some love over this way. Let's talk about it. Moving into the energy of Scorpio. My beautiful scorpions, come on in, scorp babies. My water, oh, I really, I really mess with y'all, Scorpios, I mess with you. Come on in, come on in, my beautiful scorpions. Yeah, that's my Mercury, it's how I talk. Yeah, people would think I was a Scorpio, but I'm not, I'm a Libra. <laughs> Scorpio, come on in, beautiful ones. Beautiful score babies. How are you? Let's go ahead and get into it. I gotta open the window on y'all. got hot up in here. It got hot up in here. I'm talking to my scorpions, dealing with my Libra energies. My score babies, dealing with my Libra energies. What's going on with my scorpions? Wow. Succulent resilience heart and love uh there's a love that's gonna stand the test of time it's resilient it's it'll last like the succulent plant you know you don't have to water the succulent plant it's still gonna look good and juicy okay you gotta give it some care uh-huh but most of all it's more of you know uh self-maintenance so something about this you know everybody deserves to be watered right you are a water sign but what I'm getting is that you're a Peterbilt. This is, you know, it's a resilience to your energy when it comes to this love energy that we're tapping into. And this is the sign of the times, but this is what's coming out of your oracle. Let's talk about a Scorpio dealing with Libra. All right. Community bees, bees. All right. Oh, I like it. This is real meditative is what I'm getting already. Somebody's been enlightened in this energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Scorpio, happy birthday to my scorpions, okay? Happy birthday to you all. Your season is coming to a close. You got about another week, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, wow, this is so healing, Scorpio. I love it. First of all, we get this energy as we approach this Mercury retrograde. You can hear it in many of our speeches, okay? Hello again, recycle, recover. Somebody wants to recover something. Uh-huh. They want to recycle something. They want to go back and get something that, that was theirs. All right, it's in the energy, okay? It's in the energy. It's it's here, okay? Bees, communities. Someone is really being led to get out into the community, 
possibly have a cup of coffee. My favorite thing to do, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, and even meet. Have a meeting of the minds in the community, all right? This is some enlightenment that's happening. This could be coming through in a message form. Somebody could be communicating this to you through a message or even a meeting, a gathering of some sort, okay? Because the community is about gathering and coming together. Possibly having a cup of coffee. There's something significant about a B. Uh-huh. About a B. The letter B could be of significant as well. We got skulls and endings, okay? Somebody wants to talk to you about some things that have ended. Uh-huh. 11 is here. The number 11 is in this clock. You have a skull that's here, but it's new life being formed at the top of the skull. And these are bookends that hold up knowledge, hold up something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You got medical staff that's healed, and it literally is healing. There's something healing, something that's going to heal when it comes to this message, this enlightenment, this lotus flower. It's going to be a piece that's going to be brought to something that comes through somebody being enlightened about the things that is they've been wondering about is what I'm getting. This is like a conversation that's going to, you know, come through somebody's return or even you know, reaching out. But what I'm seeing more so is something is going to take place in the community as well when it comes to, you know, just overall being able to resolve something when it came to something that ended in someone's life. Let's see what's underneath there. Obstacles. This is about you getting over some obstacles, okay? Uh-huh. You and your person, whoever's in your energy, this person plays our thing, right? But this is hope and rainbow, hope and rainbow. It's like it's hope. It's hope there, okay? Don't think that it's not. There was some interruption that took place in this energy. Lightning. It was lightning, okay? And balance is here. Balance is here. This is a yin, yang energy. That's Libra's energy. And the metamorphosis here. This is transformation. Butterfly. Metamorphosis. Transformation. That's Scorpio. That's your energy. Uh-huh. Yeah, so Scorpio's dealing with Libra. There is something very healing that's going to come into play when it comes to a conversation. That's what I'm picking up. That's what I'm getting. Community would be something like the energy of Mercury, right? That's about community. This is Mercury retrograde as well. That's a disruption when it comes to communication. But this is something that's going to take place within the community. Uh-huh. This is, I feel like a gathering, something to where someone is getting together and having a cup of coffee, talking about some things, getting some things, you know, square, enlightened. Someone is kind of becoming enlightened. That's like the hangman energy. So you could have even felt like you were placed on hold, put on hold, somebody left you hanging type of energy. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, that's that hangman energy right there. What's going on in the energy? Thank you. All right. Wow. A confession. I can't make it up. A confession. Someone has to tell you something. Someone has to confess something. Libra, dealing with Scorpio. All right. Love spell. Wow. You've been bewitched. Somebody is going to tell you about a love spell. This won't be for everybody, but it's going to be for somebody. Somebody going to tell you that somebody was putting something down on them. Uh-huh. Yeah, somebody was putting something down on them. That was that disruption we saw. Mm-hmm. Vacation. Somebody could be taking a vacation. Uh-huh. You will be traveling soon. Or there's traveling in the energy, a date night. It'll involve a date night over our energy. Get ready to be wined and dine. Uh-huh. By a water sign. Okay. Looks like Libra, you'll be having a Scorpio wine and dine you. A Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. They can have any one of these placements. That's what's here in the energy. I like it. Let's get one more card out for you. Spirit is telling me one more card. Uh-huh. All right, there we go. This one. 
caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself, okay? You know who this is for. Don't overwork yourself. Moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Some of you could be moving in together. Uh-huh, putting your finances together. It's a yes. Luck is on your side, okay? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Very interesting, my Scorpio's dealing with Libra energies, okay? Wherever you have Scorpio at in your chart. Yeah, wherever you have that energy at in your chart. This message applies for you. I give intentions towards the sun, the moon, the rising, as well as your Venus, of course, right? But your south node, north node, and your Chiron, where that healing needs to take place. There is a link to a prenatal chart so that you may explore all of that. If you have your time of birth, you can look into your Chiron energy. Okay, you can get an accurate read on your Chiron's energy, that place of those childhood wounds that need healing, okay? Everybody should address them. Everyone should address their childhood wounds because they actually resurface, right? When triggered, when different triggers come up in life that you may have even forgotten about, but you know, the universe has it. And if it's there for you to deal with, the universe will make sure it gets dealt with, right? They'll come out in your relationships and your partnerships. Let's talk. Beautiful ones. I'll be back in energy tonight. I will, I will. Yeah. I might do fire signs for our Saturday Night Live. Somebody feels rejected. Okay? Somebody feels rejected. Hmm. We hadn't seen that one all night. Look, thank you, next. Moving on. They feel like, you're like, thank you, next. I, it's over. <laughs> Somebody feels like that. This is how you're making them feel. I feel like, Libra, this is you. Okay, they feel rejected. Same shit, different day. My goodness. I'm still trying to figure out what this picture is. <sighs> It's like some butter on some dry ass toast. Is that what that is? I'm just not really paying attention to it. I mean, it's the worst piece I've ever seen. Let's talk about it. Mm. Somebody ain't got no sauce. They don't got no sweet in their life. Somebody's, look, no facts. This one comes out again. Never has the facts, make shit up and lies. Somebody's dealing with somebody who is just not worth dealing with, okay? Too busy winning. You could be too busy winning to even care, okay? You're looking at your trophies on the podium and all of that, right, Libra? Okay, flip and switch these energies, okay? Dealing with your cancer. Cancer's dealing with Libras, okay? We're going to take this one. Wow, forcer. The forcer's in the energy again. Somebody likes to force their way. Uh huh. Things on other people <sighs> to get what they want. Somebody married for money, marrying for money. Somebody wants to marry for money in your energy. Hustling, making it rain, focused on money, getting it. This is what you're doing, right? And you're running from the BS. But guess what? Somebody is hooked. They stuck. They hooked on you. I split the deck. And they talking shit. And stalking. Stalking, watching, obsessed. They're hooked on you. This person is so hooked on the Scorpio and Libra energy. Uh, this feels like an outsider energy. This feels really like third party energy. Somebody marrying for money. Okay. What is this? Karmic friends. Them and their karmic friends. My goodness. There's a whole crew of them. Mm, bunch of doppeldangers. Can't fully trust them. Tension. Secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. These are all people who really hate each other. Every last one of them. They, they make each other sick. They talk about each other behind their backs. Uh huh. They got bad habits. Some of them do drugs and all type of addictions and toxicities together. So this is the only thing that keeps them close. Their drug habit. Girl fight. 
arguments, physical fight, and at war competing. They're really competing against one another, okay? They're snakes. You shine, shine. Your light irritates their demons. I mean, you making somebody grow up. They watch you, they stalk you, and look, they can't do nothing but get this here light when it's all said and done. They get that light, and it's too bright. They're going blind, Libra. Dealing with Scorpios. What else, Spirit? Okay. Moving. Somebody's moving, okay? They feel some type of way about that. Somebody getting the heck away from these energies. They're holding a grudge about it. They think it's your fault. Flip and switch these energies. They want to be like you, like I said, impersonator. Wants to be you, acts like you, just like you, look like you, copies you. Getting an inside scoop, a closer look, nosy, up in your business. Woo! -hoo. You're dealing with a true psycho. Fake smiles. This person puts on fake smiles for society. And they're a divination abuser, okay? They abuse divination. They got a bunch of legal issues they need to be worried about. And they hooked on you. They worried about somebody giving you an offer out in the community, having that cup of coffee. This is the second time we see this energy. And again, they're dirt digging. Trying to find some dirt on you, looking for dirt on you or vice versa. You're not looking for nobody dirt. You're too busy winning. So they looking for dirt because they see you shiny and your shine irritates their demons and they feel rejected. They feel rejected. Somebody is moving on from their ass saying, thank you, next. And it's a boss, daddy, a stable, rich business owner, CEO, big uh, energy. Yeah, an obsessive lover is here dangerous toxic unhealthy possessive karmic your person's artist big dick energy is moving on because they caught a case uh-huh uh-huh sexual infection sexual disease a rash yeah and they just hustling right now they like my goodness how do i ever get over this right let's talk about it you go to the clinic you see your physician that's what you do okay <laughs> beautiful ones let's get into it let's talk let's talk let's talk mm, so that's what's going on in the energy hmm let's go ahead and get into the tarot let's get into it did i do the cosmic tarot i don't recall did i do cosmic tarot for you all oh my goodness let's see I don't feel like I did. Cards for Scorpio and Libra. Cards for Scorpio and Libra. If I did it twice, forgive me, but I don't recall it. I'm just flowing. Getting this water energy. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm swimming. Scorpio and Libra. Okay. Someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this, okay? Yeah. Someone else comes out. Date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Did I do this for you all? Maybe I did. If so, that was confirmation because that card did come out. That's too many. Spirit is telling me to take this one off top. Vacation. You will be traveling soon. Mm-hmm. No, it's not the right time. Something is not the right time, but vacation is here moving okay moving change your residence moving in with your partner it might not be the right time to do that right away but yes luck is on your side when it comes to these the fate karmic karma something ending and something new beginning with these cycles okay so if i did it before uh this just feels like further confirmation okay if not this is the energy that comes out for you beautiful scorpios dealing with my beautiful Libras, okay i'm moving so fast here i can't recall if i did it or not it feels like i did but that was just confirmation if i did or didn't okay thank you spirit cards for my beautiful scorpios dealing with Libras. Libras dealing with scorpio i'm gonna drink some water mm -hmm, before we swim a little harder Mm, beautiful ones. Make sure you got what you need. Scorpio. Libra. Scorpio and Libra. Scorpio and Libra. I spent the deck. Two, three of Pentacles and an Ace of Swords. This has been a breakthrough when it comes to some type of collaboration, okay? 
Uh, this Queen of Cups is still in the reverse here. I'm going to turn her up. But this is somebody mentally unstable that wants to go passionately towards somebody and now give them new, a new offer because they want to heal something. And But they're in balance. Two of Pentacles. They just want to make some changes. I bet it's for the money. Let's see. Moon, the Chariot, the Magician, a King of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody cut this energy off. They're the ice daddy on this energy. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's get this energy out of here for my Scorpios dealing with Libras. Wherever you have Scorpio at in your chart, this might just be a double up for you. Some truth has come out when it comes to a King of Wands energy. And the Empress is here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wants to talk or send a message to the Empress's energy. Uh huh. They want to communicate. They want to change something in the energy. Tell the story. Scorpios and Libra. Scorpios and Libra. Scorpio placements and Libra. If you have a significant placement in Scorpio, definitely this message is for you. Yeah. Check your chart, beautiful ones. Let's get this energy out here for my Scorpions. Yeah, we got this Eight of Cups energy. All right. On top. Wow, this is going to be exciting. Okay, let's talk about it. Somebody's holding on in the energy. Uh, I feel like they're holding on. Yeah, they are. Nine of Wands is here. They don't want to let go. They don't want to give up in this energy. They don't. Mm -mm. Okay, so we got the Ten of Swords here. This is a painful ending for someone, okay? So remember cycles, things end for new things to begin. Mm -hmm. And the Hierophant is here. I feel like there's a covering and protection. Someone that is going in, uh, really tapping into their spiritual side is what I'm getting in this energy. Uh-huh. And this has caused someone to walk away from people that have stuck these swords in their back. Mm-hmm. Eight of Wands. This is somebody, you know, moving towards something better, something that's going to be more fulfilling to them. And it has something to do with a Page of Cups energy, a new feeling that they were awakened by when it comes to love. <clears throat> Five of Wands is here. It's some type of chaos and confusion, competition, lies, deceit, all of it, okay? Someone got up out of this energy. It was a tennis sports energy. It was like brutally being, you know, stabbed 10 times, right? Uh-huh. Somebody is getting away from this energy. They're concentrating on their skill set, their work. It's like, it, even in their work, I feel like it's, it's becoming more spiritual. Somebody's connecting with what it is that they do on a higher level now in the energy. You got the Page of Pentacles that's here. Page of Pentacles, this is the energy of someone, you know, manifesting a new beginning is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. When it comes to bringing in, you know, the things that are of material um, pleasures. Yeah. And they're moving forward because they're being led to... They could have Aquarius in a chart, but this is the Six of Swords. Spirit, give me the higher fin. Give me the higher fin in this energy. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like your person is really going through a renewal, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I can't make it up. The star is here. It comes out. The star is here. Yeah, they're going through a renewal. This is someone who is, you know, look, they're learning how to you know, take in that water. The star is the water barrier, and this is why they can pour onto others. So someone is learning how to pour into themselves. They're healing. This is hope. This is faith. This is what they're keeping in the energy because they've gone through heartbreak, okay? They've gone through heartbreak, and they've done a lot of introspection in this energy with the Four of Swords here. I split the deck. They've been cold, and they're a business owner. They could be a father figure. They could just be someone who has to, you know, be kind of a shrewd businessman due to their lessons is what they're feeling in this energy. This is what I'm getting with those two energies being back-to-back -back like that, going through this healing process, right? So give me the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. They're going 
you know, towards something better, even healing for them, okay? This could be somebody that's moving to the mountains or being more near more water, or, you know, something holistic in the energy is what I'm getting. I have something very grounding in the energy. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This is emotional. This is overall emotional fulfillment, okay? And being surrounded by people that can support in that area. Yeah, they want this Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. This is someone walking away for a better way of living, okay? Uh-huh. Somebody wants to experience something different in the energy because they've been dealing with a lot of uh, betrayal. Give me the Ten of Swords. Give me the Ten of Swords for Scorpio and Libra. Wow, secrets have come out. And so this caused somebody to make some big changes, quick changes, fast. Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Pisces energy, okay? This is Gemini energy with the Ten of Swords. But these, it, it's caused someone to make some changes in the energy, okay? All this betrayal, these secrets that have come out. This is having someone leave others out in the cold. And really, they could be dealing with financial issues that ain't none of your person's business. They got other things on their mind. They got a lot of things on their mind. And this is someone needing to make a decision, even feeling like they want to come up out of this confusion, okay? Yeah, when it comes to who to give to, somebody wants to create balance, and the Two of Cups wants to be seen. So there's a divine union somewhere in this energy. This is what this energy sees something or someone is being emotionally fulfilled with this energy. Give us the Five of Wands, Five of Wands in this energy. Five of Wands, thank you. All right, there we go, Queen of Swords. Somebody's fighting with a Queen of Swords, or somebody's fighting because of the energy of the boundaries, uh-huh. It's competition. Somebody want to fight a Queen of Swords? I don't think so. I think they're wrong, right? But somebody wants to create something new, and they've had to put down their swords. This is where the deck splits up. Somebody had to put down their swords when it came to an Emperor energy, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody definitely, you know, mm, they can feel like you're at odds with them, Libra. This water sign. Give me the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Give me the Queen of Swords. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. So it's like somebody is trying to go to war with you when it comes to your prosperity and abundance. A gift that's given to you is destined. It's yours. And a divine union that's attached to it. Somebody just sits up and think about you getting this bag with your person that's what i'm getting that's the truth the sun is here this is a yes card okay and this is expansion three of wands yeah somebody worried about you and what you're doing with the scorpio energy uh-huh and the money first of all that's what they're worried about they're worried about somebody's occupation what it is they do how does they build uh-huh they do this repetitiously eight of pentacles eight of pentacles all right there we go somebody has to put their swords down uh-huh yeah, because they're stressed out and they're thinking about really all the deception I split the deck at that they've done possibly to an emperor who's sticking up right here. But this is about lies and deceit, okay? Somebody's definitely, wow, they're stressed out because they're worried about this 11-11, this divine union that's in the mix is what I'm seeing. Somebody going through anxiety right now. Not right now, but right now. Uh-huh. Give me the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Okay, here we go. That's a lot. Somebody's going through uh, a rebirth for sure. The Phoenix Rising came out. That's judgment. That's you, Libra. Yeah, it fell. Give me the Page of Pentacles for my Scorpios dealing with Libra. Scorpios dealing with Libra. Thank you, Spirit. What's going on? Scorpios dealing with Libra. Beautiful ones, if this message is resonating with you, be sure to hit the like button subscribe and become a part of this metaphysical tribe if you haven't already what are you waiting on we'd love to have you here yeah let's talk about it they watching somebody's manifesting you and they're watching page of sports okay they are uh-huh you're their wish fulfillment and you're all they can think about what's this one in the middle uh-huh they want to give reciprocity to you with the six of pentacles equal give and take you could have put this person out in the cold they could feel like you know you're not giving to them in a situation. They can feel lost and just poor without you, okay? Uh -huh. Or be having some financial issues as well. They want to collaborate. Three of Pentacles is here. Uh -huh. 
Tell us more about this page of swords energy. What is the page of swords doing? And it's okay, this is what they're doing. They're looking at this divine union. It's 1111, it's soulmate energy, okay, with a lot of passion. They are a king of wands energy. They have Leo in their chart, any fire sign, but heavy on this fire because there's Sagittarius here too, okay? Wow, they're thinking about an empress and I keep seeing the emperor here. But look, the thing about empress, they could be enlightened in this energy and wanting a new beginning. They want to do the full, because they want this ten of cups and it's an emperor. Yeah, somebody want to bring it together like it's supposed to be brought with this four of wands energy is what I'm saying. That's what I got, right? Let's get it. Six of swords. Six of swords. This is somebody could have a Aquarius in their chart, but they're being guided towards calm water. So, huh? Somebody just wants to get away and be in love is what I'm seeing. Yeah, woo, with an emperor, she can't make it up. Nah, they see things from a new perspective, and they want a new beginning. Overall energy is the fool. They want to do the fool. They want to get away, get away, get away now. That's what they're doing. That's what they like. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they want this new beginning. Ten of Cups, and it's an emperor who's a king of cups energy. This is you, Scorpio energy, okay? Water sign. And Leo is here. Mm, they want to win. Cancer here. With the three of cups. Somebody wants to give to the situation. They want to create balance with an empress energy. Scorpio, uh, your reading is really straight to the point and good to get. Okay? I like it. Let's talk about this ten of cups and get ready to close out, beautiful ones. I love you all. I'll be back in the energy tonight. Ten of Cups is here. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. For my beautiful Scorpios dealing with Libra. Scorpios dealing with Libra. All right. Wow. It, it, it's nothing to it but to do it. A new beginning is here. Okay. This is the fool. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith when it comes to this passionate new beginning. This is a passionate new beginning somebody's thinking about. But right now they feel like they've left out in the cold, okay? They want to collaborate, okay? They want to bring this energy together. Someone could have a Capricorn placement, but this is something that is destined. This is destiny's child is what I'm hearing. Uh huh. They want to be balanced to this energy. Balanced to this energy, just like these two of cups when Venus meets Cancer in this energy, okay? Yeah, this is the truth. The sun is here and somebody's not wanting to give up. They're holding on to your energy. They're holding on to your energy because because they're not wanting to give up. Nine of Wands. Beautiful Scorpios dealing with my beautiful Libras. This is your water sign read. Dealings with water signs. Babies, I love you. I'll see you in the energy. Peace and love.